Hey guys, this is Corey, consider it done. I'm right here with Sensor from Quantic Next Threat. We just watched an epic matchup between Quantic Next Threat and Quantic Leverage. I mean, going from the beginning to the end, they're on that first matchup, they're uh, capture the flag there on Havana. It was a close one. It ended up into an overtime. Y'all caught it, y'all were able to cap that flag in 48 seconds. And TP found a way to slide in and get it in 46 seconds. That's a different story. I'm not even talking about that one right now. And then we got into the SD, that went into an overtime. Not talking about that one either. The domination game, they had an 85 point lead there in the beginning of that first half. I'm not talking about that one either because y'all came back and answered that one when one by five points. I'm talking about the 45 minute capture the flag matchup that y'all had against Quantic Leverage there in the end. This has been the team that y'all struggled with through time and time again. But the reason why I have you here has got to be about the fact that we have a matchup that could have continued to go on. And what I was worried that it was going to continue on. You actually had the you had the flag there. We were in the third overtime. It was the first half. There was roughly four minutes, four minutes and thirty seconds left. You had the flag. Break it down for me. And why did you make the decision you did? Well, basically, they took our flag, and then we're like, all right, guys, we're going to cap this flag. We're going to have about four minutes to cap a flag and win this game. And then I spawned back in, and I noticed the flag was still in our base. So, like, what's going on right now? And then my teammate Virus told me that the flag was staying in our base because they didn't want to score it because they didn't want to have to defend for four minutes. So I just said, all right, I just ran straight through the flag to summit. I pulled the flag. I went back to our flag. And halfway through around B Dom, I knew I could cap the flag. So I talked to my teammates, Vengeance and Virus. I was like, hey, guys, should I cap this flag? Venge said yes, Virus said no, we talked it over for a little bit and we decided we didn't want to play defense for four and a half minutes, I think it was. Yeah. Because every time that we go to overtime, we always capture the first flag. And we always choke. So we didn't want to have to capture the first flag this time and we just resulted in Virus jumping off the map and playing it again. Every time we've seen y'all face against Quantic Leverage on the main stage, y'all have come so close. It's been an absolute nail biter. And this time, even though Quantic Leverage has won a first place back in Dallas and then also in Anaheim picking up $20,000 total, y'all, a minimum in third place, y'all get $20,000. How does that feel? It's amazing. We've been waiting for this since Dallas. Virus got sick, he made us forfeit. Columbus, we had to get a pickup for it. And ever since then, we've been fighting our way to get our name back up there to the top. Because we feel we can do this. We feel we could win the event. And it's finally paying off. I, I feel on top of the world right now. It's an amazing feeling. This is what I've been working for for years. This is my passion, this is my dream. I want to win. I want to be number one. That's one team that deserves it. Quantic next threat. I had to get your opinion of why you did what you did. And I actually feel like all those questions that I had have been answered. Everything's been resolved. Make sure you tune in tomorrow. Optic Gaming, also Quantic next threat. And there's still more games going on right now. I'll make sure we keep you up to date and everything. So thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it. So make sure you tune in tomorrow here from Providence, Rhode Island for the 2011 Major League Gaming Pro Circuit. Go. Oh.